What's up, everybody? Uh, I got the Dudes Flex, and I want to use it for these next uh, 90 days, as they have guaranteed. I'm ready to give this a try. See how my face looks. Um, you know, how my face is going to look after using it. Um, right now I don't have too many pimples, but I definitely do have a lot of blemishes on my face. Uh, and if that's, that's the one issue that I definitely want to talk. I mean, that I, that I'm very concerned with, right? Because I get pimples, they come, but then they go. Pimples stay for like a few days. It's the blemishes that stay on my face for days, weeks, and even months. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this could perhaps do. Uh, for perhaps uh, preventing pimples as I am now on a diet and I have been on a diet for the past couple months of eating specific type of food and trying to be mindful of the things that will cause me to get breakouts. Uh, I'm also, you know, trying to be mindful too of every time I sweat to clean myself because I just got back from the gym. Um, and so I know um, right now it's critical for me to start washing my face. So I'm happy to use this, man, once I get out of the shower. So what I normally like to do is hop in a nice, ice cold, nice cold shower. This is all the way, as you can see. I don't try to, I try to almost keep it off. That's how like high I like it. But today, I'm just gonna keep it on C. And let's remind you, I'm up here in the New England area where today is about close to 25 degrees, 20 degrees. So yeah, I, I'm gonna take a nice ice cold because I know it's good for your hair, good for your skin, good for the testosterone, gentlemen. So I'm gonna do that. Let's see how we work with the dudes. I don't know if I'm gonna use it in the shower because I didn't, I didn't see it. So perhaps I'm just gonna get myself. We'll see. <laughs> so guys, I just wanna let you know that there's nothing. I, I, this is another reason why I was hesitant on buying it because I got what you call right here, if you just saw it. It's a... Um, <clears throat> Just the traditional exfoliator. I haven't even washed my face yet. I just jumped in an ice cold shower because I know it's good for my skin. I know it's good for my testosterone. I know it's good for a lot of things, right? Uh, blood flow, all that stuff. I get my morning started with an ice cold shower. It's 20 something degrees outside here in New England. But I do this, this pad. It's a nice scrubby pad. It's, it's abrasive pretty much. And so when I saw that, I said, this has to be an exfoliator, right? This is nothing but an electronic exfoliator, which is why I'm seriously curious how my face is going to look 90 days from now. OK, I hope that this is going to clear it up, uh, you know, it's going to make me look better because I have blemishes, more importantly, that I want to take care of with some pimples that I have. And I don't even think that's a pimple, that's a blemish. So I bought it because I wanted to keep my face clean. I wanted to get underneath, perhaps, maybe this has been years of just embedded stuff. I want to see if this is going to do something for me. So let's check to see what this dude's going to do. <laughs> what this dude's going to do. Like I said, it's the blemishes that I want to get rid of. Because I don't really have pimples as much or as much pimples at this moment. Because I've been eating a decent diet. I've been eating a diet of, you know, water, lemon, apple cider vinegar, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, blueberries. Um, 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 yeah, I do a little oatmeal, but I've been doing a lot of like eggs, you know, from Vital Farms. I've been doing grass fed, grass finished, uh, you know, meat, steak. Um, you know, I've been doing fermented vegetables. I've been doing a lot of probiotics, kefir, you know, kefir, yogurt, uh, you know, plain yogurt, full fat, milk fat, uh, yogurt, uh, you know, uh, seed probiotic. I've been just doing all these things, right? And of course, I didn't get sleep last night, so of course, I'm looking really tired. I got like six hours, which, you know, I mean, whatever. But, uh, you know, I'm on a streak of nine hours, or at least eight hours. But, um, yeah, like little things like that, man, that I have to like always be mindful of. My rest, what I'm putting in my body, what I'm putting on my face. And so far, I'm using this Jack Black, and this Jack Black hasn't been doing anything crazy to me, right? Um, I should be reading the ingredients a bit better, um, you know? just so I know like what's really going on my face. Um, Cause I really want to be particular with that, but I'll be honest with you with all the other stuff. There was a YouTube that was like, Oh, how to have glass skin. And I was using, uh, let me see, let me show you what uh, I found. Uh, you know, I, they got this little thing from, um, 
what is it called? Uh, La Roche Posay. This is a vitamin C serum. So I started putting that on, which I will probably get back to that because I heard of like the great things about vitamin C. But then also there's this whole exfoliant, right? This whole exfoliator right here. I put that on my skin and I'm supposed to put it on like maybe like once or twice a week. And then um, after that, I'm supposed to end it off with this moisturizing gel. But to be honest with you, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to take a break from it, at least a month or two off and see like what is and then start putting one at a time of these things to see what is the culprit. Because really, like, I don't know, my face was breaking out and I'm wondering if it was breaking out because of what I was eating then, because I know I was eating a little more sugar. I don't know if it was, you know, like, I don't know if it was because of just certain like dust and whatever particles that I'm allergic to. I don't know. But um, I was getting like pimples and i'm like what the hell and then i was also using this to wash my face this is a, a renewing cleanser and so you know little things like that so i'm just taking a cleanse <laughs> pun intended a cleanse from the cleanses jack black i get this one here pour Ooh. there you go pour some on there <laughs> it's ripped all right Okay, so on first experience, I'm gonna wipe some of that stuff on there. But on first experience, it's soft. So it's not as abrasive as the natural one or the traditional one. So I'm not gonna be upset about that. Um, so that's cool. Cause I feel the traditional one definitely has this abrasiveness oops another thing i want to get rid of i have you know i get razor bumps very right, good underneath here and i use bump stopper which is okay right it hasn't been doing anything bad but still i bet you i have years of dirt and stuff that's just hanging out there so I'm curious, what is this thing gonna do for me? Super, I'm skeptical on this product. It's so only day one, and this is the, you had just before my face before. Now I want you to see during what's going on and then maybe see what's going on after. But I'm still skeptical, why? Because I don't feel it's doing the deep cleaning it does. But maybe it is. I don't know. Do you think they win? Do you think this product wins because they have war? That war product that they're using? Do you think it actually is the cleaner itself? You know, that's why sometimes like when I eat pizza, I ask, well, when I used to eat pizza, because now I know that lactose is not really good for your skin. But, you know, sugar, uh, dairy, and dairy comes from the sugar family. See, alcohol. <laughs> Not good for your skin, anything with a sugar in it, or at least the bad sugars. But what I'm trying to get is, when I eat pizza, I ask myself, hey, what makes the pizza sometimes? Sometimes the sauce makes the pizza, right? Sometimes the cheese makes the pizza. Like, you don't even know that the place is so, not that, if, that, if it's not that good of a product, you ask yourself, what is really good about this pizza? What is really good about this product? I mean, it's so soft. And that's cool, I guess. And it's nevertheless an electronic exfoliator. Like, again, like, oops, I know I'm not showing you, but again, this right here, I feel like my face is getting clean and it gets red, you know, and I only use it like twice a week because it's so abrasive, you know, again, like this is, this is it, right? But I, I'm still curious. I'm very skeptical about dudes right now. No offense, day one. There you go. Look at that. Uh -huh. Maybe I might start liking it. Who knows? I don't know. But I have problem areas, and I hope that these get addressed. All right? And I know you guys are looking, but this is from a skeptical person, too. So please watch this journey, and let's see if this thing actually works. Because I'm curious to see how do these blemishes go away? How do these razor bumps, does it stop that? And I'm definitely going to want to give my commentary on the 90th day. So I'm going to use it, they said three times a, a week. 
Let me see. I guess the cool thing about this is though, it's, it's soft, all right? So it's not as abrasive as the traditional one, which I'm wondering if I should use a traditional one on top of this, which probably be fucking crazy if I did. So we shall see. I like about what this uh, Jack Black stuff is, it's, basically like a clay you could like a face mask you could keep on yourself oops i don't know how long i'm supposed to be washing for but i as you can tell i've been washing for some time i do know that my face is getting red which is cool so i don't know if it's because of the friction on my face the friction from this product or the exfoliating bristles see like these little things that i'm skeptical of day one i'm very skeptical we'll keep going we'll keep going we will keep going aka we will keep doing this for the next 90 days and figure it out but this is what i'm noticing my face is getting red which i guess you know again would be a good thing perhaps it's unearthing old skin cells also remember your nose so you get all the blackheads off all right well we're gonna keep checking it this was day one and let me uh wipe my face down on day one see if there's any difference in how it looks day one which probably won't but like i can say my face It's not about the blemishes, they ain't gonna leave in, uh, in a day, I know that for sure, that's just not gonna happen. But what I do know is that you probably can't see it, but my face has gotten you know, a little more red, it has got a little more color, which people will say, well, you know, how can you see that when you're, when you're, you know, you're, you're black or when you're dark? <laughs> I mean, I can see, cause I know myself, I've been in this body for years, but I know like, like my, my, my pigmentation, I can see a slight, redness to it which i don't know if that, that's not a, not a bad thing it's like you know like when you go out and you get a little sun your face gets a little red and you're not in the sun for an hour or two you're just in the out in the sun for like 15 minutes and you get this little color and you're like okay the, the the effects of sun have hit me same with red light therapy i noticed that the effects of red light hit me because i see it or when i get out the cold shower the effects of the cold uh shower and you could see the the little redness which is bringing remember blood flow needs to be going to your skin anyways Another thing I noticed that my, my skin at this moment does feel softer. So that's the apparent idea is I can see a little blood flow to my skin and I can feel the smoothness right now, which is cool, cool. All right, well, day one, that's for you, okay?